Beer Potomania Syndrome Beer Potomania Syndrome is a unique form of hyponatremia, first described in 1972 by Gwynup et al. This condition occurs in chronic beer drinkers with poor dietary solute intake, leading to severe hyponatremia. Epidemiology and Risk Factors Approximately 17.3% of hospitalized chronic alcoholics manifest with this syndrome, making it an important differential diagnosis in the evaluation of hyponatremic patients with a history of alcoholism. The primary risk factors for beer potomania include chronic heavy beer consumption, typically five or more drinks per day, and poor dietary solute intake. Additional risk factors encompass malnutrition, concomitant use of diuretics or antipsychotics, and the presence of comorbidities such as congestive heart failure or cirrhosis. Pathophysiology. The unique pathophysiology of beer potomania is crucial for understanding its clinical presentation and management. Beer has minimal sodium and protein content, leading to a dramatically decreased osmolar load. The caloric content of beer inhibits muscle protein breakdown, further reducing urea generation and osmolar load. This reduced osmolar load significantly decreases the kidney's excretory capacity, making even small fluid excesses lead to dilutional hyponatremia. Additionally, the ability to reabsorb free water from the collecting tubules is decreased due to suppression of antidiuretic hormone, ADH. Clinical manifestations. Patients with beer potomania typically present with fatigue, dizziness, muscular weakness, and altered mental status. In severe cases, seizures may occur. It is important to note that symptoms may be masked or exacerbated by concomitant alcohol intoxication or withdrawal. Diagnosis. Diagnosing beer potomania requires a high index of suspicion and careful evaluation of the patient's history and laboratory findings. Key diagnostic elements include a history of chronic heavy beer consumption and poor dietary intake, severe hyponatremia, serum sodium less than 130 milliequivalent per liter, low serum osmolality, low urine osmolality, typically less than 100 mosm per kilogram, and low urine sodium concentration. Other causes of hyponatremia, such as SIADH, hypothyroidism, and adrenal insufficiency, should be excluded. Management. The management of beer potomania requires careful consideration of its unique pathophysiology to prevent neurological complications, particularly osmotic demyelination syndrome, ODS. Key management principles include fluid restriction, cautious sodium correction, close monitoring of serum sodium levels, judicious use of intravenous fluids, and solute administration to increase osmolar load. Patients should be admitted to an intensive care unit for close observation and management. Goals for sodium correction are an increase of less than 10 milliequivalent per liter in the first 24 hours and less than 18 milliequivalent per liter in the first 48 hours. Complications. The most serious complication of beer potomania is osmotic demyelination syndrome, which can occur in up to 18% of patients if serum sodium is corrected too rapidly. Osmotic demyelination syndrome is characterized by damage to oligodendrocytes, the myelinating cells of the central nervous system, leading to pontine or extrapontine demyelination. Clinical manifestations of osmotic demyelination syndrome include dyspnea, dysphagia, dysarthria, ataxia, altered mental status, and in severe cases, quadriplegia. Prognosis and long term management. With appropriate management, the prognosis for beer potomania is generally favorable. However, patients are at risk for recurrence if they resume heavy beer consumption and poor dietary habits. Long-term outcomes depend on the success of alcohol cessation efforts, improvement in nutritional status, management of underlying comorbidities, and prevention and appropriate treatment of osmotic demyelination syndrome, if it occurs. Healthcare providers should emphasize the importance of alcohol cessation and improve dietary habits to prevent recurrence of this potentially life-threatening condition.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.